Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. We good. Note to self. Oh. Watch out this step. Watch this step. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nail Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fix and Trips. Back from the vlog, y'all. Check it. Look, man, I decided to stay in my hometown of Houston, Texas, aka H Town. And I'm gonna do a little fishing, man. I'm gonna do a little local fishing. And I'm gonna do something that I have not never done before on this channel. Um, I'll, I'll show you. Come on, let's go. All right, man. One of the most difficult things about being a YouTube fisherman is all the damn camera equipment and fishing equipment that you gotta carry. So it dawned on me the last time I went to the Surf Child Jetty, as I'm lugging around 300 pound worth of equipment, there's gotta be a better way. So I found the better way. Check it out. All right, y'all. So this is my gear. And this right here is going to be the game changer. This is my Gold Trax Apex electric scooter. And it's a pretty quick setup, as you'll see. Let's see here. Hold on, y'all. No, I'm not in the handicap zone. So Park next to it. All right, y'all. So we'll just... Like I said, it's a pretty simple setup. Compact, compact goes down. Just push that up. And that, you're ready to go. <laughs> that simple, that quick, and you're ready to go, man. So once again, this is the Go Trax Apex. Um, it has a 200 and 50 watt horsepower engine it can go literally about 15 miles it travels 15 miles per hour max speed let me tell y'all that is pretty quick i went 15 miles an hour on this thing and i thought i was about to lose my life yeah yeah has a electronic display you can see the mileage and how fast you're going so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get my gear here um we're at the park we're gonna see if we can find a little secret creek and do a little fishing a little lightweight everything is light today Nothing heavy. So once again, first time doing a fishing episode or a scooter fishing episode on my channel. We'll see how it goes. I think it's gonna be dope, personally. There you go. Oh yeah, let's talk about gear, baby. All right. Um. So basically, like I said, we're traveling light today. Let me get y'all kind of even. Y'all looking cool, crooked. So I got my old 18 ultralight rod, my Shimano 500. Got about 10 pound braid, 10 pound leader. Rooster tail never fails gonna do some light light tackle light tackle to see if we can get it done oh yeah let me show you my gear I bought my new gear back here we got my GoPro camera we got my net because you always have a net because you never know some pliers some bogus I got one thing of tackle of some jerk baits rooster tails and rattle trap and people ask me all the time aren't you afraid about walking around Houston with all this gear on yeah honestly quite honestly I'm from Houston, I'm from Texas, so it's not if I have a gun, it's a matter of how many guns I got on me. I'm good, trust me. So we're gonna get this gear up, and I have a spot in mind where I wanna go. We just gotta see if I can make it work with all this gear and not die on my scooter. I mean, personally, I think I can do it. There you go. All right, now as far as where I'm going, there's a small creek that I know is across the street. I'm not sure, is it a mile or two away? But I always thought it'd be cool to fish it. Like I said, I just refuse to carry all this gear that far away. So I think the scooter gives me mobility to hit these spots. Uh-oh. There we go. That I couldn't hit before a lot easier. So far, it's a really smooth ride. So far, it's a really smooth ride. And I swear, like I say, people are looking at me crazy. It's like they see a monkey driving a car or something. All right, so we're making progress, man. So far, so good. I have not bust my behind, but it is not easy trying to ride a scooter with one hand with all this gear and etc. But we'll make it work. 
I bust my butt. Great content. So like I said, there's a small creek that I'm trying to make my way to without dying. But this is this is game changer, man. This is a game changer. I definitely feel more inclined to do more fishing locally here in Houston if I can feel like I can get to those spots a lot easier, especially when it comes to like parking. When you want to do like, you know, fishing on bayous, creeks, where I have to park my truck, X, Y, Z, but the spot be miles away, use the scooter, it's gonna be a game changer. I'm good, I'm good, I almost died. Come on, let's go, making progress. All right, let's go. We out, y'all. All right, across the street. We're coming closer to the spot. Now I have seen some pretty big deer back here before. And I mean some really big deer. <laughs> so one of the things I'm worried about, I'm worried about deer and crackheads. To me, they're both dangerous, you know? <laughs> to me, they're definitely both dangerous. <clears throat> now I've never fished this spot before. I have no clue if there's gonna be anything here, but you know what, to me, if it's not an easy spot to get to, it might be some good fishing here. Okay, here's the creek, I think. Oh no, the creek is dried up. Look at that, y'all. This is where I've seen like deer before, and normally this creek is a lot higher, but as you can see, the water level is extremely low. That was not part of the plan. I don't know. I see the thing running grass. Okay. It's running the grass. Okay. Okay. Like a G. Not really fast. All right. Let's look out for snakes. All right. So small creek right there. The water is crystal clear. Let's go scout it. Alright, so that is a small creek. Show about my mud boots. I see nothing. This was not the plan. So nothing on this side. This is about to be the shortest video on my channel. Okay. I thought normally this creek has water in it. Of course the first time I want to fish it. There's two inches of water. That's crazy. Mm. Let's head down this way. Let's see if there's anything we can see. Mm. Oh man, I know there's wildlife back here. Mm. All right, a little stork, a little gang graffiti. Nothing though. I can't fish this. Have no clue what's down there. This scooter, it has power, but I don't think it has the power to be running down grass line like this. We'll see. Okay. It's making it though. It has a weight capacity of about 220 pounds in states. I'm about 225 by myself. Plus I got all this gear. So we got about 250 pounds. 250, 206 pounds on this scooter. All right, check this out, y'all. This might be promising. Yes, look at this. Now this is more what we're looking for. God, this place looks like it is prime for snakes. All right, so we kind of reached a little dead end. Not a dead end, but a corner. There we go. It's a lot deeper water. Bro, look at this little corner right here. You can't tell me it's not something back here. Let's go check it out. Investigate. 
She don't see no alligator tracks. Look at this, y'all. Look, right there. Those baths. Can y'all see it? Oh no, you can only see through the Polaroid glasses. Let me see, hold on. Can y'all see that? Probably not. All right, y'all, so this spot looks good. It is hella murky. No telling what is in here. I'm damn sure I'm not going by the bank, but I definitely see some small fish in here. So let me get my pole. I don't know, this feels very alligator-ish. But I feel confident about the spot. I see at least a small bass or something right here in this little deep area before it gets all murky. All right, let's get my pole and see what's happening. Let go. Let's get my pole. All right, y'all. So I'm ready. Now, for the people complaining about how long it takes me to start fishing my videos, first of all, this is my channel. I don't care how long it takes. The trip part is part of my episode. So we got the trip part, let's start some fishing. I just need one to make this damn video. There's something in here, man. It might not be a fish, but something is in here. Whenever it is, I'ma catch it. Let go, here we go, here we go. Oh, bite, 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 bite. Mm, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him, baby. Got him, baby. First cast, no, 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 no. That about a That was the one. That was the one I lost it. I can't risk my life trying to slide down a damn hill catching a bass. It's all good though. Damn it. Let's get another one. Interesting. When I do that, they all just kind of look at it like it's crazy but let me go let it drop and do fast there, wait, wait we got one we got one oh man there we go finally we got one look man I know y'all saying Renee look at that little bitty perch there you go all right y'all so we did not get skunk a little perch go there you go yeah it's about 20 26 inches Let's see if we can get another one let's push it back over there buddy now i'm going to tell you boys where i'm at all right y'all so i to do a battery swap lure swap here we're gonna go we're gonna use this little bitty jerk bait kind of a greenish tan bass looking color those little bitty um bass and perch they look just like this I gotta get a little bit deeper, so I think this will work. Let's see. I mean, seeing how these fish right here react to it, like if I go really slow, they don't really do nothing. But if I go fast, you see them try to hit it. Let it sink. Let it sink. Oh. What the hell was that? Was that a branch? Y'all, was that a branch? Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? What is that? Did y'all see that bite? And it happened right there by my lure. Right there by my lure. Come on now. I know I can get it. Let me just try a steady retrieve. Just a steady, oh, oh, oh. wait, wait. Oh! Right there where I said it was going to be. Steady retrieve, bruh. What the hell is... Bruh, I got too much stuff going on. What is this? Uh-uh. Ain't no way. Mm-mm. All right. I don't know what the hell that is, but I'm going to catch it. Current take a little bit, and I'm hitting the bottom. Current taking it, hitting the bottom. 
Oh, I'm getting hit. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. One more chance to try to catch this bass that I've been trying to catch for an hour now. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. <laughs> Look at this bluegill. This is one of the bigger bluegills. That was over there. There we go. Pretty fish, ain't it? Almost like an aquarium fish. I was going for that bass, but this is just as pretty, right? Everything that's big over here, I pretty much lost. I don't think it's resetting. I don't think I can catch it. I'm gonna go down that way to see if I can find anything. If so, then the vlog will continue. If not, I'm gonna end it right here, man. So I hope you enjoyed this Small Creek scooter um, video. If you wanna see more videos like this while I'm out and around Houston with my scooter, finding small creeks and just kind of just casting to see whatever I can get, thumbs up the video. Let me know, comment. Let me know if y'all wanna see more videos like this or do y'all want me to be back in the marsh saltwater fishing. Yeah, let's go. Peace. Antlers. See that? That's a what? One, two, three, four, six point deer? Bruh. If that thing runs up on you, it's a wrap. Okay. It doesn't seem to be bothered by me, but that is terrifying. I told y'all, man. I told y'all there was deer out here looking dead at me uh oh it doesn't have any dough so I don't think they're aggressive just minding this business just eating oh, man bro I told y'all man all right so I'm curious to see what happens because those people that I pass they're coming up walking right up on the damn deer and I'm, I don't know if um, the deer is going to attack the people. Now, I think it's probably up to me to save the older gentleman if he starts getting attacked. I mean, the deer is just doing deer stuff. It'd be wrong for me to shoot it. Oh, hell, but I got to do what I got to do.